a one hour lifestyle show and a phone bank simultaneously. We can do it. We, I it, have faith. Listen. Challenge only, accepted. Only at KSAT 12 can we do this, love on our community, and celebrate San Antonio at the same time. Can we show them what we're doing? Yeah, let's show let, them. Let me, let me look, look right camera. over here. Look at this. Right over here. Hey, everybody. Hey! Look how. Yeah. There it is. And then come back. Here we come are. Come back over here. Yeah. So uh, we're we're building a new set, but we're sharing space today yeah, with some yes, great volunteers. Yes, you so are. We're excited about. We it. do not waste space here at KSAT 12. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking today about the kind of gray, kind of gloomy weather. Hey, have you noticed the? I guess the change in the weather just kind of been like uh, oppressive here over the last couple of days. Oh, but it's nice to us. see rain. Yeah, yeah. It, is. it is. It is nicer, and I like that it's a little bit cooler. But just like the grayness outside, mm -hmm. um, does it affect you guys? as far as your mood or do you have like a like a pick me up something that kind of like I actually love it and it makes me want to go get on the couch with a blanket and watch a movie. Oh yeah. It oh, is yeah. movie watching weather. Gray yeah. skies, bunny weather. Gray skies bum my wife out, which is always fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think on a day like this, what, what makes you feel good is then good food. Oh, yeah, comfort see? food, stuff yeah. like that. And like a grilled like cheese like sandwich? A grilled cheese and mac and cheese on a day A like French this. onion grilled cheese yeah. that we were just looking at? <laughs> Which yeah. looks see? fantastic. And y'all get to go eat lunch now, and we're working. Yeah, so that, that so is we'll great lunch. news. Yeah, you, you get to eat lunch every day while you're working. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. There's a misconception about me and food on this show. I don't finish <laughs> everything that they put in front of me. Really. No, I don't. <laughs> it, but it, it is wine o'clock. <laughs> And so what do you do to, you know, lift your spirits or get out of the, the moody blue or, you know, just, I just feel like the change in the weather, the pressure and stuff is like, ugh. Yeah. So what do you do to lift yourself up? What do you do? Turn up the music, oh, roll like down the window? I like the, yeah, good energy music. Yeah, yeah. that's always fun. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and The guys from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> that's Roxbury, yeah. Mm. Mm. Wrong way. That's yeah, a, yeah, that's you need to make sure your heads are going in the right direction. It could have been a problem. Right. I got her back. All right. We're going to take it from here. So we want to know, uh, tell, uh, give up your pick-me-up. Let us know what it is that you do that kind of just like, you know, get your summer groove back. Well, you know, a good foot massage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Head uh, massage. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, just, again, uh, just maybe extra money from the boss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he asked. Okay. <laughs> money so let us know at SA Live Case Stat on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those later on in the show. But you know what I think is a good pick-me-up? A good hair day. Women love to have, they love to look pretty and feel pretty. As my grandmother said, your hair is your crowning glory. I, and, well, that's important. <laughs> You're main. That's, I mean, that's truly, you know, what, what, and again, men look at that, too, and you, we want you to feel good. Because when you get the no fun bun, you're shutting people down. <laughs> <laughs> so here to help us, a celebrity hairstylist, Mark this. Anthony. Hey, Mark. You're right. Hey. I call that fun bun the librarian bun. That really shuts it down. Oh, well, you yeah, shh. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Twitch voice. So you're here to show us, of course, the latest trend that folks are doing their do with. However, I mean, celebrity hairstylists, you've really worked with some big names. Yeah, I've worked with uh, hundreds and hundreds of celebrities. I've been backstage at the Oscars, the Emmys, worked with Coldplay, Blake Lively, Paris Hilton, Catherine Zeta Jones, the list goes on and on and on. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. They're 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 great people. They're just they're just like you and I, you know. But they got the pressures of looking good all the time. They're about to walk out on the red carpet, and they need to look amazing, just like this guy. Well, like he's Jeff. out here every day. He has yeah. to look amazing. Can you help him? Right now, you know, you, that's a tall order, but we're gonna try. Him? We're gonna try. Mark is there at the very <laughs> last minute try. before many of these celebrities go on stage or make an appearance. Right? What are you yes. doing? What is? You know what? what? I'm gonna fix you what up a little this? bit. What is this? Is this? What, what this is, is that? This is a coconut oil cream. It's this a is coconut a new, cream. This is new, right? This is new. This okay. is all new, and it's it's all part of this exotic oil craze. And you know, I get so many questions on on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram just about like what exotic oil am I supposed to use? And the two hottest ones are argan oil and coconut oil, but there's differences. But before we get to that, let me fix you up a little bit, Jeff. Uh, all right. yeah. I mean you look good, but I Thank think you we can Mark. Thank you. I think I'll, we can I'll, just uh, yeah, this we can is, just and again, mess you up there. You're, a little the, bit. you're the Hollywood stylist. I mean this is a toupee. So <laughs> yeah. make sure it doesn't come unsnapped. Just spray yeah. you up a little yeah, make him look hip, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, well let's have you look cool and hip and edgy. Is there something, there is there something to the, to the height of this? Will that yeah, look at that, look at that, look. thin my cheeks out? Come on, Fiona, take a look. It's, how does he look? 
Oh, better. What, what, it's already here. an improvement. <laughs> All of these products available at HEB. There you go, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, just, we just actually launched there, actually. What makes these different? Because I'm afraid to look at myself before we do the big review. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know reveal. really, really it's all about when you're choosing an exotic oil product, there's so many argan oil and coconut products on the market, but they're all mostly made with blended oils. And at Mark Anthony, we use only world-class ingredients. And all of our oils are 100% pure. So the argan oil is 100% pure, the coconut oil is 100% pure. So you're getting the best of the best. So you have a great hair day every day. And so like we have Jeff. Paige and, and Anna here, of course, our lovely models. What's the right way to put, because I mean, when you think, I'm gonna put oil in my hair, everyone thinks, oh no, am I gonna look greasy? What's gonna happen? So, so there's a right and a wrong way to yeah. do it. So the beauty of the argan oil and the coconut oil is that they're, <laughs> they're lightweight and they're refined so that they don't weigh your hair down. Now, argan oil is the perfect frizz fighter. So if we just take a look at Paige here, you know, beautiful Especially curls. Especially in this humidity, too. This is, a, this is a dry styling oil. This is like one of the latest trends. So no more having to apply the oil on as an oil form. You can apply it as a dry styling oil. And so that's how you want to do it. You don't want to spray it directly onto your hair. You want to kind of mist just, it on You just there, want right? to halo it over when your hair is dry. Well, and you know, everybody at Paige's alma mater, Reagan High School, is looking at her now going, she is a rattler <laughs> with style. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Reagan. Okay. She's a Reagan rapper. Yeah. And then we've got we've got Anna here, Anna, and you know she's got beautiful, silky, healthy hair. We use the coconut oil products. The coconut oil is actually the the most um, deep, penetrating type of oil. So it goes right inside the hair strand. It, it covers the exterior part of the strand. So if you use a lot of heat styling tools. Um, you think your hair is dry and damaged, the coconut oil will repair it from the inside and it'll just give it that beautiful shine all the way through and then you can, you know, just apply Halo it over. The halo it over. So if you're styling, styling every day oil. using your curling iron or whatnot, that's what you want to go with is, yeah. is the coconut oil. And, and, and the exotic oils just kind of coat the exterior of the hair. I want to ask your permission to do something. Okay. We, we have, we have. We have people in the room. Yes, no, I think we should. We have people. How... Yeah, we have people in the build uh -huh. in the room that have Anchorman hair. Yeah, we no, we need to this. fix that. Can we? Are... Can we? Hey, can, we yes. can we just see what you can do with that? Come on, come on, Mark. This is the this is part of the yeah, AT. Security. I thought you were working with hair today. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's here to help. <laughs> what, what, what can we do Hi. with Mark? Mark Austin. Hi, Mark's Mark. Mark, Mark is you? the Ron Burgundy wow. of morning TV. What are we gonna do with Mark? <laughs> we just need to loosen you know, him up a little bit. I think Mark looks perfect. But he could right. use a little dry styling oil. He could he could use a little just to give Where? just to give you a little bit of shine there. A little bit of shine. Okay. Can we mess it up a little bit? Yeah. Can, we, can, we, can we spike it? Can we do, can we spike it? Can we faux hawk it? I think I think this is actually going to be one of my favorite celebrity styles. Oh, good. thank you. Of all See, time. See, and I thought I was doing with the best uh, with what I had. So. Now give us a, say something like a newsman. Do it. Like what, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back after this. <laughs> we will be right back, right here on SA Live. <laughs> Mark Austin, everybody. You looking, <laughs> you looking good. <laughs> oh, my God. So these are good for men and women, and they do a lot to help your hair, and obviously. And, and scalp, right? Absolutely. What are the benefits um, well, for your scalp? The, the, the beauty of the exotic oils, because they, they come from, like, the argan oil comes from the fruit kernels of the Moroccan argan tree, and the coconut comes from the meat of the matured coconut. You know, that nice white part of the coconut? <laughs> And that penetrates deep inside the hair strand, but also inside the follicle of the scalp. So it helps to regenerate, and restore, and repair. And I mean, these ingredients by far, you know, you gotta look for 100% pure, which is gonna give you the maximum benefit. The blended oils, you're, you're only gonna get, it's like you're getting a diluted version of the real goods. So look for that. Look yeah, for 100 percent. And all the, all of our products all are right. made with that. 100%. And these are safe for people that have colored hair as well. Absolutely. Okay. Perfect so for color treated hair. Right. And they're available at HEB. What do you mean I'm safe? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm 26 years old. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And I look good. It's only Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Thanks, Thank you For more information, of course, on more celebrity hair stylist Mark Anthony and his products, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I feel like a new man. I feel like my spirits have been lifted. You look and, really and, uh, good. Do I have more height now? We're going to need to. It's, like, it's slimmed out your face. It, it, yeah, it got rid of my jowls. <laughs>
Hey, look at that. Mm. You know, we love sharing good information with you as we celebrate, and Fiona is the bravest woman I know. Because number one, she works with me. Number two, she's willing to do just about anything. <laughs> just about is key. <laughs> All right, SDW Krav Maga stopped by and showed me the five self-defense moves every woman should know. Take a look. Whether you're leaving the grocery store, leaving work, or just getting home, what if you found yourself in a situation you did not want to be in? You should always be aware of your surroundings, so no matter what. Absolutely. Whether you're at the park, what if you have the earbuds in and you're yep. jogging? What you might want to do is at least take one out. That way at least you can hear something. So because that split second Absolutely. of being aware could make the difference. Yeah. Could make it whether you're going to go home safely or not. Uh, okay, so the first move would be? A, a front kick to the groin. Front kick to the groin. Absolutely. Okay, so what do I need to do? Right. Put your hands up in front of you. Just, just protect up. your face. Okay. But other than that, the best thing to do is just send that up as hard as you can. Bam. Bam. What's number two? Number two is going to be a knee. A knee. Right? All so right. instead of sending that foot up there, the hardest part of the body uh, is a knee. Okay. Taking that knee and sending it straight in there to the groin area. Okay. Again, hard bone, soft tissue. And all you can do is take that knee, mm -hmm. nice and low, and take it right into the groin area. Absolutely. There you go. Okay. So we've got yep. the kick. We've got the knee, the knee, and yep. then my hands are up. Now my at that point, what do uh, I should just run? Just absolutely. run, right? So just get out of the situation. Absolutely, get to safety as fast as you can. Okay. Yes, we're not teaching you there how to fight somebody. We want you to be safe. Number three. Number three is a palm strike, right? So instead of delivering a fist, something safe, the palm of your hand to their face, Woo! right? So I want the meatiest part, absolutely. right? Absolutely. That, that could hurt. All right. Absolutely. So when you punch, go for the jaw. Okay. And then turn your turn your fingers in. Get the claws or, or get your nails into my eyes. Turn yeah. my hand a little bit. Absolutely. Whether either side. I just want to get to the eyes yep. and claw. And claw out. Absolutely. Absolutely. The next thing we're going to do is a hammer fist to the side. Just take that side of your fist and put it to the side of my face as hard as you can. Like Boom. that. Absolutely. And just keep going. Yep. Okay, so the choke. Yes. How would I get out of somebody trying to choke me? All right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go and get the choke on you. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do, I want you to pluck and at the same time, kick uh, front kick to the groin. Go ahead and do that right now. Followed by a knee to the groin. And then, and then once you're done with that, just go ahead and hook up for knees and follow with some knees. Right, here we go. Here you go. My body. Kick One. here. Two. Hook up for ah. knees. There you ah. go. Ah. All right, are you ready to try these for real? <laughs> okay. All right, just give me a second and then go suit up and I'll be back. All right. All right. SDW Krav Maga, and of course the five self-defense moves every woman needs to know. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the Ask Scene on SA Live tab. Be aware. Ah! 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 That happens to most men she dates. <laughs> Down and out. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I didn't want people to think that's me. No, those it wasn't are, you. Those are great tips. I know. went easy on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, put you in a headlock. Drop you off the top rope. <laughs> no, but those are good things. And yeah. we're probably going to replay that on our website, yeah. too, at SALive.com, so you can pick up on those tips. And uh, I'm feeling kind of sporty. You look really, really hip. Coming up on SA Live. <laughs> If you want to build the miniature garden you've always thought of in your mind with the little fairies running around and having fun with the forest friends, we're going to make a fairy garden next. And how you can help those in need with one small donation of something you already have. Goodwill San Antonio needs your help next. Because of America. SA Live and Jeff Roper back here. I, I don't have them, but I'm going to show you how you could. I, these are not green. green. These are not green. green. <laughs> these are not green at all. It's a wonderful Wednesday, and we're making fairy gardens. Ding! <laughs> 
I, I, I got a wand here. Laura Jarvis is here, and she is from Rainbow Gardens, where there's a rainbow of love. What, what, what do you find at the end of the rainbow? Plants. Plant, <laughs> green, green thumbs. <laughs> this is so cool because this is something and lots parents of little miniatures. and something parents and kids can get together and do. We're going to show you how to do it at home, and you're going to give us some helpful tips as well as introduce us to your That's place. Right. And so uh, you got how many acres? Six. Okay. Six at this one and four at the other location. Okay, you're out on Bandera, Rainbow Bandera Gardens. Bandera Road. And you specialize in what kind of plants? We have everything that you need for your yard. We have all kinds of trees and shrubs, so we specialize in native plant materials. We have house plants. We have all kinds of lawn products and... Most of all, we have all the miniatures. We've got the little miniatures, but do you sell the big little animals you can put in the yard, like the trolls and the... Uh, yes. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have the cement trolls Yeah, yeah and I want to troll. Gnomes. Flamingos. We have pink flamingos as well, yes. Hello, <laughs> Chippendale. Okay, so we're going to make uh, a really simple fairy garden. Yes. Now, you came up with this. This is so cool because this, anybody yes. can do this. Yes. Because it's part of a kid program. Is one of our uh, uh, classes that we have done for the children, and the kids make these themselves. Okay. So I'm sure you'll be able to do this. Well, sure. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I and thought I, you were. I have two little girls, and they would like to do this too. Well, you're going to have to go so, home. And so, so how does it work? What do we do? Okay. The first thing we do is we add our soil into this. And then we pick our plant. Okay, so we're going we to put the soil which, mm -hmm. into our... That's all right. This is where it gets messy. It does. And, and that's of, the fun part because everybody should have dirty hands when they get done with th this. This is... And, and dirty tabletops. Is it, this is standard potting soil. This is the best potting soil you can buy. It's okay. Fox Farm. Fox Farm. Ocean soil. Forest. Okay, should I yes. put all that in there or is that... Um, that it, most of it. Okay. You're going to make go. it pretty close to the top. All right, there you go. Then you're going to pick your plant. Ooh, let's see. What are those kinds of plants? That that one looks kind of cool. That one is fuzzy. It's kind of like a pet. It's kind of like a man. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah, it's fuzzy. Just, and and it's <laughs> it, it uh, <laughs> is very easy to grow. Um, this is a house plant, and um, this is called an arrowhead plant. Arrowhead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and what's this? What is this called? That is a kalanchoe. A kalanchoe. Yes. This is my plant. All right, so That's we're going right. to put this joker so in the bottom. So I like to place some kind of middle towards the back, make a little hole in there, and then you can just go ahead and plant that right in. Kalanchoe. Kalanchoe. And go ahead, you're probably going to add a little bit more soil to that. And once you get that done, easy, easy, then you get to decorate. Oh, so I know. you're going to pick your different mosses and different things. <laughs> you need a little help there. Well, I, know. <laughs> I mean, I'm a guy playing with dirt. I mean, well, yeah. Is, every little kid wants to do this. That's right. And I Absolutely. have a fairy wand, too, because we're making a fairy garden. That's right. Ding. That changes it. <laughs> okay. Now, shit got off of there. All right. Okay. So then you're going to pick what you want. Um, usually, I start with a couple of different types of mosses. Well, yeah, this is from the uh, eighth green out at the Dominion Country Club. Yes. We just put this right here. Yes. So you we went out and fetched it yeah, last I know, night. I know it's called a divot. I, <laughs> I did not get arrested for yeah, that well, last good. night. As you know, I am here. I, I, well, the ankle bracelet gave it away. It was, <laughs> it was kind of the deal. Well, you weren't supposed to see that. But we can add just about anything to the to the that's, to the garden. That's the fun of it. You can go outside and you can pick things up out of your yard and, and add it to it. Great. And of course, they make these kits where you can get just a little bit of everything to add to the garden there it at Rainbow Gardens. It saves you money. You can get one of these and you can get probably four or five, maybe even six little gardens out of it. Here's the best part is I'm going to get the turtle and he's going to come hang out over here. Well, what you probably want to do is get a little bit of gravel and then you can make the base to your pond. You put your gravel down, and then you can put, I always call this water, but it's actually sea glass, and you can add some sea glass oh, so to the top of that. that. So it looks like some water. Yeah, there he is, That's trying right. to get across the ditch. Yeah. There he is. That's He's right. Out. Or He's you out. can make a little highway for him. Okay, Rainbow Gardens, a large That's miniature right. garden display and all the supplies you need to have fun with your kids. You can go to Rainbow Gardens and our website, salive.com. Thank you, Laura, for being here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.
Coming up on SA Live, how Goodwill is helping change the lives through the power of work and how you can help too. Those details are straight ahead and the United States Air Force Band of the West is here to perform and tell you about a really cool event. If you love jazz, you got to stay with us. SA Live is coming back on KSAT. Thursday, how... Welcome back to SA Live. Ooh, gray and gloomy outside, some spotty showers around. Oh, but I've been loving kind of the rain just because it's cooling things down. But hey, if you are indoors because of the weather, maybe you're taking a look at your closet or kind of stuff around your house and you're thinking, maybe I could get rid of some of this stuff. Well, don't throw it away. In fact, why don't you head over to Goodwill San Antonio and help them make a difference. Penny Benavidez is here. And I gotta tell you, can I just thank you guys for just the difference that you make in the community here in San Antonio? Because that's important to you guys. Yes, and thank you for having me so I can share that. Because what people, most folks out there, they know is from our, our, our retail stores and our many donation stations that are out there. And that's great. But what they don't realize is how your simple donations are making such a huge impact impact here in San Antonio. And so nearly 90 cents of every dollar that's spent in our stores off of those donated items is helping us to serve our mission to change lives through the power of work. And what that really means, Fiona, is that we are providing education, training, and job placement services to individual, individuals right here in our community of every walk of life. So you're helping somebody get ahead and better themselves and their family. And when you bring things, of course, to Goodwill, it's it can be a tax write-off. Right, it could be a potential tax deduction, so that's an added mm -hmm. incentive. And when you shop at Goodwill, where does the money go? The money goes to, to fund our job services that I just talked about through our Good Career Centers and our Good Careers Academies. So our Good Careers Academies provide affordable certification training in demand-driven occupations here in mm -hmm. San Antonio. So your donations are helping us keep, although there's a tuition with those programs, it's it's keeping the tuition very small. We also provide, um, or very low I should say, and it's also allowing us to provide wraparound services. But we don't want any student or any anybody that comes through our programs to have to carry on debt. We right. want our folks to graduate with a skill, a certified skill, um, have the opportunity to work in San Antonio and not have any debt to show from it. So, And so as far as donations, y'all need kind of specific items right now, right? right. What, what do you need the most of? We'll, we'll gladly take any um, donation that you may have around your home that you mm -hmm. no longer use, but that can definitely, um, somebody else could use. Specifically, what we are most in demand for right now are your electronic items. So especially as we get ready for back to school and you're yeah. upgrading, you know, your old computer or your laptop or even your old phone, and we ask that you, you consider Goodwill for, for that donation. Clothing, of course, shoes are a big donation that we really are in need of right now. And those household items you have, um, small appliances, electronics, and things of that nature. So, All right, that's yep. all stuff you need. Now, how can folks help out um, besides donating? What can they do? Right, well, of course, your donations, that's where it all starts, mm -hmm. is really through your donations. But you can also shop our stores. Mm -hmm. So um, this, this coming, actually, First weekend in August, August 5th through the 7th, which is tax-free weekend, we'll be holding a 15% sale for back to school. So come come to Goodwill and do your back to school shopping. There's always something new and something for everyone, and it's really fun to shop Goodwill. I think you'll be surprised at what you can find, not just gently used mm -hmm. items, but also brand new items as well. So all that, I'm gonna do my part because I cleaned out my closet a few months <laughs> ago, and this has been sitting in my car. Yay! I put, hold on, let me see. Oh, no, there's some stuff. That's a lot of stuff. There's, there's, there's a good, good deal of stuff in there, so I'm going to give that oh to you goodness. so you can take it back. Yay! Well, thank you so much because this is going to go a long way to help many people um, get those job services that they need right here in San Antonio. So, yes, you know, those things you have in your in your home are helping somebody here in our community. All right, let's get the information up on the screen. For more information on Goodwill San Antonio, you can call 924-8581. Again, 924-8581 or visit goodwillsa.org. Coming up. How you can help save a life by making one phone call. Details on how you can help next. And we continue to plug you in. We asked you earlier to give up your pick me up because of this gloomy weather. Our executive producer, Katie Fellow, says, I want to float the river. I've never been. Oh, I need to do that too, Katie. We should all go. <laughs> Get it. 
You'll love sweet treats. This is your chance to buy a blizzard and make a miracle. Tomorrow, Thursday, July 28th, is Miracle Treat Day at Dairy Queen. When you buy a blizzard treat, they'll donate $1 or more to one of our local Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Just stop by any local Dairy Queen near you and you can help someone in need. Well, this month, organ donation is being celebrated across the country. That's right, KSAT Community, in partnership with Corner Store, Security Service Federal Credit Union, and University Health System, team up again with Texas Organ Sharing Alliance to help you help others. We're saving and giving life. Right now, volunteers are here at KSAT 12 to answer your calls about life-saving transplants that can happen right here in San Antonio. Our KSAT Community spokesperson, Jen Tobias Strusky, is live from the phone bank. Hey, Jen. Hi guys, yes, every 10 minutes a new, a person is added to the waiting list for an organ. So um, it's a big deal, obviously. Yes. So joining me, to, joining me today is Clarissa Thompson with ECHO. And what is your role there at ECHO? Uh, actually, ECHO is our national ce celebration where we have every community has an opportunity. And an opportunity to do what? To sign up and register as an organ donor and save lives. And it's a big deal, especially here in San Antonio, with a high population of people with diabetes. So you're telling me kid, a kidney is the organ that's in the most demand right now. That's correct. The organ uh, most in need is kidney because of diabetes and hypertension, but really every organ. There's eight organs that one donor can help save your, your liver, your lungs, and so forth. And in addition to that, more than 50 people with tissue and even cornea donation. And yet it's so easy to sign up. Either you can call in today or you can go to donatelifetexas.org. Great, and, and you even have a volunteer here that has had a liver for 27 years, right? Yes, so we have some great volunteers, our transplant recipients, and even donor families, like you'll get to meet in a little bit, Mary Jane, who, whose son gave that gift of life. So before we bring Mary Jane mm -hmm. in, um, any age, right? Any any person, any age? Can any you, age. Can and what, what's great about the registry is that it is a first person consent. So when you sign up, you lift that burden off of your family of having to make that decision. So that's a great thing. Your family doesn't have to worry about that decision during a time of grief. And any age, if you're under 18, then your parents or your legal next of kin will make that decision for you. And one more quick thing. You mentioned people are scared maybe sometimes to yeah. sign up because they think, well, the doctors aren't going to help me if I'm signed up to donate yeah. and they want my organs. But that's that's not true. Correct? That's not true. We have our own medical team, the organ procurement organization, TOSA. We have our own medical people that go in and talk to the families. They're trained to talk to the families about donation. And again, if they're loved one already made that decision by registering, the family doesn't have to worry about that. We just get some other information from them. So again, the doctors don't have access to that. So it's a great thing to do. Okay. Well, Ma uh, Mary Jane, if you want to just come in real quick and switch places. Um, Mary Jane is a donor mom, so this is obviously very important to you. And if you want to just tell me briefly what this means to you and why it's important to be an organ donor. Well, it's important for many reasons. Um, one is that it gives you closure. You know, when you lose a son, uh, Adrian was um, 18 years old when I lost him. And um, this has been a way that uh, gives comfort and closure to his death. Yes. It's so insane when you live, lose a son, mm -hmm. you know, your child, you're supposed to outlive them. Right. So he gave life t to many. His heart went to a man that had four children. Oh my goodness. So somewhere I have these grandchildren. So that that's yes. just must be an amazing feeling. So it's obviously a big deal. Uh, please, the number's on the bottom of your screen. So call in if you have any questions. They are here to answer. They have lived through it. Uh, and Jeff and Fiona, if you're willing, you can maybe come and answer some phones. And say hello. You want oh, us to, yeah. I think our viewers would appreciate that. You want us to come down? Yeah, I'll we'll do it. You, you go. All right. Go I'm, I'm All going. right. Okay. All right, I'm coming. Okay. Hang on, here. All right, coming up, they serve our country and they love to jam out. Hear more from the Band of the West after the break. And today's CPS Energy Cool Zone, we are featuring the Natural Bridge Caverns. You'll find fun and adventure around every bend. You can expect to see massive formations formed by single drops of water from millions of years ago. Especially in this gloomy weather, you can actually see the rain fill the caves. That's this week's CPS Energy Cool Zone. We'll share a new cool spot next week. I was known...
Hey, welcome back to SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper, and they are highly trained professional musicians who have aimed and dedicated themselves to them to their country through music and fun. That's it. And uh, Troy Griffin with Band of the West, and you guys are in the Air Force, and, and y'all are going to be performing this weekend at a really cool event. Yes, we are. We're going to play at the Balcones Heights Jazz Festival on yeah. Friday night, 7.30 to 8.30. You so, guys do uh, some really cool things. We Who's do. Who's the most famous person you perform for? Who's the most? For me, I, I've performed with Elton John before. Wow. Which was pretty amazing. That was awesome. You want to introduce the other guys here? Who's Absolutely. This is Airman First Class Clifton Wright hey, on guitar. Of... And Airman First Class Mike Wittrian on bass guitar. So you guys play and fly at the same time, which is great. Yes. Because there's normally not a radio in the airplane. <laughs> And uh, this weekend, we'll see you there. There's going to be a ton of great stuff at the Balcony Heights. Well, it's going to be a great, great food, event. food, lots of music. Yes, and a great event venue with uh, the water right in front and the nice grass you can sit on and just have a picnic and it's enjoy some good jazz. Friday night, 7.30, and you'll be jamming out with your zildjans and your, <laughs> and, your, and your pearls and your remos, and I love it. You, you know your drums. I, I'm a frustrated drummer. I all think right. everybody learned to play the drums, and we all got shut down in elementary school for beating on the desk. Absolutely. That's how it works. What are you going to play for us? We're going to play a tune by Brad Paisley called The Nervous Breakdown, and Great. you'll see why. All right. Band of the West, live, 730, Wonderland of Americas. For more information on this free event, go to salive.com, where we have provided a link. Air Force Band of the West coming up Friday night, Wonderland of Americas, and more information at salive.com. Now, tomorrow, if you are looking for a new job, we can help you stand out from the crowd and capture that dream career tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Have questions? Losing weight can be tough. 
But what if I told you you could lose up to 40 pounds in 40 days, do it the healthy way, and keep it off? You can with Nutrimos. And Dr. Rob Vasquez with Nutrimos San Antonio is here to tell us how. When people try to lose weight, especially women, it can be, it can be tough. Why is it so difficult to, for women to manage their weight sometimes? Well, a lot of it is women a lot of times will want to lose weight. It might be for health reasons, mm -hmm. or it could be they may have had a couple of kids, so they want to lose the baby weight. Um, they're trying to get into a new dress, get into a swimsuit. And so what they do is they try these fad things. Mm -hmm. And as a result, they may lose a few pounds only to gain those few pounds back right. and then a five extra. Right. And as a result, they're really destroying their metabolism. And then they may go to the doctor and they say, hey, you know what, the only thing to do is to try to take this medication. We obviously want to make sure that we're avoiding that, not doing that, because we believe that you can still lose the weight, regardless of how stuck that you've ever been. So even if someone out there has tried every diet on the planet, every fad diet, and then they may exactly, as you said, lose you know, the 10 pounds, maybe even the 15, maybe even the 20, short term, but then it just comes right back because you know they, they either stop the diet or life gets back in the way, or they didn't quite make that total lifestyle change, which is what is needed. Um, you have done this with Nutrimost, done it the healthy way for folks, and you have success stories. And the first one is Amy Elizabeth. Yeah, Amy Elizabeth is great. She's one of those folks that had tried everything, done everything. And with her story, um, she, was, she was really frustrated because not only was she gaining weight, she had a lot of health problems, taking several different medications. And so she got on the program, she lost 46 pounds. 46 pounds <laughs> in 40 days? 46 pounds in 40 days. No more medication. Wow. She feels great. She's got a ton of energy. Let's hear about Lynette next. She actually took the lead from her husband losing weight. She did. Her husband did the program first. So he lost 50 pounds going over the, the program. And then she decided, hey, you know what? I want to get in this ball game as well. So she lost 31 pounds after going through the program herself. And she started the program and went on vacation. And so she did the program while she was on vacation because it's that easy. Well, I've got to tell you, that was impressive. <laughs> if you are able to stay on diet while you were on vacation and still enjoy yourself and have a good time, then it's got to be easy to follow and of course enjoyable to do. Um, women, you know, we like to do a lot of things together. We even go to the bathroom together. And even losing weight together is something that we do. Yeah, so the next story is about Anita and Amber. Those people are very special to me because it happens to be my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law. So they were those folks that they tried everything, exercise, fad diets, you name it. They tried it, super stuck. They did the program. They both lost weight. Amber, my sister-in-law, she lost 35 pounds in 40 days. Wow. My mother-in-law, Anita, she lost 36 pounds in the 40 days. And to date, they've continued to keep on losing weight, and they've lost 70 total pounds altogether. Wow, and they have kept it off? Totally kept it off and, and still going. And that's what's great about you know just doing something together is that you're kind of each other's cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. But that's what you do there at Nutrimost for any client. Absolutely, we want, we want to monitor these folks daily, every single day. They're texting us their information. We know exactly what's going on with them because we want to make sure that they succeed and hold them accountable. Okay, so if a woman or even a man wants to take advantage of Nutrimost and lose up to 40 pounds in 40 days the healthy way and keep it off, where do they start? There's no better time to take care of your health than right now, mm -hmm. right? We don't want to put it off. We don't want to procrastinate. So in order to be able to incentivize and motivate the viewers, we have a special offer, and that's this. Come do a consultation with us, do a body composition analysis so we can see exactly where you're at. Normally, that's $99, and for the viewers, that's only going to be $27 by just going to 210fatloss.com. All right. For more information on Nutrimo San Antonio, just head to 210fatloss.com. Again, 210fatloss.com, and take advantage of that incredible offer and the first step into changing your life for the better. You, because of the kind of gloomy weather, you know, what's your uh, give up your pick me up? What do you do to kind of? This is so great. Uh, is, is, yeah, I've got oh, so many oh, great. Oh, oh. I've got so many great ideas. Okay. Uh, Here we go. Soda. Well, good. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Jenny says our show picks her up. Well, yay, Jenny! You get a gold star. And it makes her. Yeah, we're going to come <laughs> to your house and buy you groceries. Thank you, Jenny. I, Fiona will. <laughs> and then a good movie, hanging out with friends, says mm, Miguel. Love that. Oh, Sam, Sam's like, he, he likes what you like, Mountain Dew. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he's doing the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And then Valerie has gone medical. She wants a V12. 
and a, a, a strong black couple. Oh, Josh. Yes, Netflix. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Binge watching. It's always fun. <laughs> right. We want to make sure you guys find us on Facebook, too, and follow Fiona and I, because I'm, like, backstage right now showing you what's going to happen after the show. Bye, guys, hey. in Facebook land. See you Bye, everyone in TV land. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>